Football came into the radar probably when I was a young one. I've got two older brothers. You know, they grew up playing and loving footy. I guess to me, that was probably when footy started. It was probably when I was four or five and used to follow them really wherever they went. I've always visualised growing up as a kid. You know, you're always in the backyard, three seconds to go, kicking the footy through the goals, and then you always pretend to be that person, you know, walking up to accept the best and fairest and stuff like that. You know, kids always do that. And you're wrong if you haven't thought of that because that's what sports people do and competitors do. And, but I feel like at the end of my career, when it's all said and done, I feel like I probably will sit back and go, wow, that actually growing up, turning a dream into a reality. You know, not many people got to do that. Petrarca has been enormous. Oh, and what about the pick up from Petrarca? And then the snap. That is absolutely superb. I think like any kid growing up, you try and play as many sports as you can. You know, it wasn't just footy, it was basketball. It was really difficult to juggle because I was playing such high level in both. Big Ben Simmons is here. We know he's an Essendon supporter, but he's a Christian Petrarca man as well. We do keep in contact a fair bit, especially when he comes back to Australia. And I sometimes been overseas to America and then seen him watch a few games and, and go out with him. I chose football over basketball and yeah, I don't really know why I chose footy. I just felt like I love, I love being around people. I love being around my family. I just felt like AFL would be a, a really good and fun path to go through. Family's, you know, probably the most important thing to me. Italian culture, we love cooking and we love, I guess, being around our family and I mean, support is everything. My mum and dad have been amazing for me and, you know, always giving me advice and giving up their time when I was a junior to get where I am now. I grew up in Warrandyte, so that was the Eastern Rangers region and was fortunate enough to play, you know, for Eastern Rangers for two years and sort of that's where you make your name for yourself. From there, I got selected into the NAB AFL Draft Combine where they do a series of testings on you and there's a time trial and there's an agility and a sprint and they sort of collect a few little things for you and um, see if it improves your draft selection or not. The class of 2014 are about to learn their fate. The expectations and pressures that externally people have on you at pick number one or pick number two is quite difficult and something as a young kid you've got to really adjust quickly with. Ladies and gentlemen, the number two selection, Christian Petrarca, now a demon. I did my ACL in my first year. So I was out for the full 12 months. You know, you look back now and you realise how important that year was for me to develop and grow as a person and understand, um, you know, probably what it does take and, you know, putting the jump on for the first time the year after really made it a bit more special. Hard to find a spot for you at the moment. OK. But with fan one for you. <laughs> what a moment it is for Christian Petrarca who runs through the banner for the very first time. It's been a massive wake-up call for me in terms of realising that if you actually dedicate your time and commitment to your job, then you're going to reap the rewards. I felt like last year was a really good development year for me in understanding who I was as a person, as a player, and this year I feel like I've just taken it to another level. Look at Petrarca go to work, emerging in front of our eyes. Off the field as well, commitment to you know getting my mind right and mentally being in a really good spot. I felt like I've really worked hard over off-season, went over to America and, and worked hard on my game spoken to a lot of people the last year or so. Sat down with Scott Pendlebury, someone I've really idolised growing up. He gave me a lot of advice. You know, just keep doing what you're doing, just keep trusting the work, just be patient. When you look back now and probably the year that I've had, you know, you really do just got to trust the process and trust that, you know, everything happens for a reason and, you know, one day you will get your turn. I don't have any regrets with my decision of choosing football. I feel like where I am right now as a person and as a player, I'm pretty happy with. That is Christian Petrarca at his absolute best. Great box office every time number five struts his stuff. Any person that wants to succeed in life, you've got to have the will and the hunger and the passion to do anything you want to do has to be strong. When you see those rewards and you see the success behind all the hard work you've put in, you know, it makes you smile and makes you really satisfied. And I felt like it's been a really good recipe for me in terms of understanding what it takes. And I'm going to you know, constantly do this now throughout the rest of my career.